In this video, we explore how to render a lampshade using the V-Ray two-sided material. Uh, we'll begin by first uh, modeling our lampshade using a spline. The reason for this is uh, it's without thickness, which is best for creating translucent materials. So go to object type and select circle. Go to modify list and extrude uh, and assign parameters to your liking. Convert this to editable poly. Then select the polygon option and delete the top and bottom sides. Now that we have our lampshade and already set in place, Assign a normal V-Ray material to the selected object. And begin interactive rendering. Now as you can see a normal V-Ray material will not give us the desired effect that we are looking for, which is translucency. So we begin by creating a V-Ray two-sided material in the material editor and assign it to the selected object. Assign the V-Ray material as a front of the V-Ray two-sided material. Add texture to the lampshade surface using a V-Ray bitmap. Link the texture to the diffuse map slot of the V-Ray material. As an option, you can assign a V-Ray noise texture and link it to the bump map slot of the V-Ray material to just to add in a bit of reali realism to it. Under V-Ray to certain material parameters, you can tweak the translucency of the lampshade to your desired look with black Less light will pass through while with white we will get more light. In today's video we've learned how to render a lampshade material using the V-Ray to sudden material. Please thumbs up the video, it really helps. Do subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions or which areas you need clarification on.